Good day, ladies and gentlemen. It's me, Adrian, and I have a little bit of a dilemma here. First of all, this is a post recording because my recording messed up. Second, um, this part right here will be played on easy mode, and part of that's because my um, I, you know. I forgot exactly what happened, but something happened with my recording and it just messed up on me and I was so hot. I was so mad when that happened. But um basically i be play I'm playing this on easy mode because I would have had to start all over again just to get to this point. And I didn't want to do it on normal because I have to fight Nemesis again and be a pain in the butt. So I figured, you know what, well, I'm gonna play this on easy mode and um So I'll have an easier chance getting to the um get to where I need to be. And here we are. Alright, open the chest, here we are. And look at the loadout I have. This is ridiculous. What I have. It's ridiculous. Look, I have a machine gun, two hundred and twenty um handgun bullets, a magnum. 12, um, 12 magnum rounds and a grenade launcher. It's ridiculous. I don't have uh, actually another 250 bullets right there. <laughs> and that's the 250 that actually came with it. The other 220 I earned by myself. This game is significantly, is significantly easier. It's ridiculous. And I also have a shotgun and 50 shotgun shells. Oh, and I have uh, more assault rifle bullets right there, 100%. It came with two 100% um, assault rifle bullets, plus the um, rounds I already had in my gun. And I have the knife as well. <laughs> but yeah, it's crazy what they gave me. Oh, and the ink ribbons are, are infinite. Yeah, that's another thing. And I actually have a first aid box as well. It comes with the first aid box. And I'll explain the first aid box in a little bit. But, um, right now I'm doing my loadout. I have my, um, lockpick equipped. So, uh, no, I didn't actually. I remember actually, I had to go back and get the lockpick. So, um, I'm gonna skip ahead to where I have my lockpick and. I am all set. So, I'm gonna get the heck out of here. We're gonna head to a. Head outside, go to the door. For some reason, it needs a lockpick to unlock, but we're heading down that way, and we'll be good to go. There's some other goodies that we actually have to get as well. First thing, go over here. Now that we have the lockpick, we're gonna unlock it, and uh, we'll have some um, some more um, gunpowder B. Those are good for shotgun shells to make shotgun shells, I should say. And we have our um, blue gem, which we need to get to the, um, get to a certain area. Um, so, how's everyone doing today? Hopefully everyone's having a good day today. Um, Halloween's just around the corner. Um, I'm really excited for it, still undecided on what I'm gonna be. I might just whip out one of my old costumes. I have a Beetlejuice costume, I have a Thor costume, I might be one of them, but I really love to be Darth Vader, Kylo Ren, Finn, um, Scorpion even, if I can find a Scorpion costume, quite a few people would love to be. Um, but yeah, I actually told my friend, I told my friend that, um, I have wore my Beetlejuice costume with a Batman, um, with a Batman mask. Extra points if you get what I'm, if you get the reference. <laughs> it's not really a reference, but extra points if you understand what I'm saying. If you actually understand what that, what that would mean. Or what I'm trying to say. Or like, why would I do something like that? There you go. <laughs> Anyways, that thing you saw behind me was a uh, brain sucker, and we got some handgun bullets right here. Now, like I need more bullets already. 
Oh, it's some reading. September 1st, following the months of intensive training, my body's edge has returned. I was a good soldier, but they ordered my execution, no reason given. I was tortured and forced to give a false confession. Okay, turn. <laughs> but on the morning of my execution, a miracle happened. A company had helped me out, giving me a second lease on life. September 15th, I ended up, I ended my vacation short and returned to the HQ office. It looks like the UBCS unit's been called into action. Umbrella maintains its own paramilitary unit to counter corporate terrorism and VIP abduction. In addition, they have nightmen who specialize in handling problems caused by illegal products. I'm currently a member of the latter. Okay, agent turn. What's that turn? One, two, three, turn. One, two, three, turn. September 28th. Don's here, but we're still logging through it. Oh, you do this nightmare. There, there are no provisions of any kind here. I didn't even finish reading it. <laughs> Given a chance again, I would have rather been executed. Death Row was a heavenly asylum compared to this place. I chose to pull the trigger on myself in the hope that that my dead body won't come back to life. Pretty much, he committed suicide, which is pretty tragic. A lot of people, um. Well, this game is pretty tragic, in general. We're heading over here. We have some, um... I don't know what I was doing here. I'll see how much space I have. That's right. Get some herbs. I'm give, like, one herb, I believe. Well, that's all I can really get, anyway. And what I want to do with this is, um... What I want to do with this part right here was pretty much show show what you get when you play an easy mode, but also I want to um well maybe what I did because I didn't want to play through more no more mode again just to get to this point because it took me forever. The stupid nemesis fights. <laughs> I wanted to play this like I would play normal mode, so I'm not using any of the special weapons I have already. And this no matter what. I know, go figure. You have those dogs. Those dogs are a lot harder to kill on um, normal on normal mode. Sorry about that, ladies and gentlemen. Had a little bit of a hiccup, but um, pretty much um, I want to play this as normal as possible. So I don't want to try to cheat the system. Places like if you're using this as a walkthrough, you'll know like how to do certain things if you're playing it on normal mode. Weird, I know, but hey. <laughs> Granted, it would have been more fun to, like, show off the, um, pretty awesome artillery, but you'll see that later on in the game, because all, all that stuff you saw in my trunk, I ended up getting on normal mode anyway. But anyways, they have more dogs. The thing about the dogs here is that you, you get them in an endless loop of you get them in an endless loop. It's pretty simple to take them out. A lot easier than it is on Resident Evil 1 and 2, in my opinion. That's good too, because I hate the dogs in this game. I hate them. Not in this game, but like, I hate the dogs in Resident Evil in general. They're like the enemies I loathe the most. Them and hunters. Hunters. Lickers aren't too bad, but hunters and dogs, eh. They maybe want to rip my hair out. And we did a little bit of item arrangement here and there. Post, post below, tell me what you're going to be for Halloween if you are going to dress up. I'll be sure to let everyone know what I'm going to be for Halloween. I might even actually post pictures on my Twitter. Twitter account, my fa I actually don't have my Facebook on here. I think I should put my Facebook on here. But definitely on my Twitter account, I'll post it on here. Maybe my Instagram as well. I don't have my Instagram on posted on my um, videos. But I think I'm going to start doing that as well. Because why not? But um, yeah. Let me know where you're going to be for Halloween. 
Let's about Harry tilt the back here so I can get this um to get the power cable. I need the power cable for um a little something I have to do a little later on. Sorry, World Series is on side. I'm looking at my TV a little bit. It's the bottom of the 13th inning. <laughs> What else do I want to talk about? Oh, but speaking of being Star Wars characters, um, trailer looks awesome. Love it. The way I see it, I think um, Finn and Rey are going to be both going to be force sensitive. Some people are saying, oh, it's going to be Finn. Some people say, oh, it's only going to be Rey. And Finn's just going to be like a Han Solo type character. I think it's going to be both. And it's going to be awesome. And as for people complaining about racism and whatnot, they're mad that the one of the main characters is black and the other main character is a woman, like really? It's 2015, get over it. <laughs> so come on now. I mean, what the heck? It's ridiculous, man. Me and my friends are talking about too. A lot of my friends are white too, and they're like, that's stupid, people are complaining about it. <laughs> It is, it's dumb, it's ridiculous. It's like, I... Like, I have a character, I mean, I, yeah, I could dress up as any character I, want, I want to. For the most part, well, except for like Princess Leia, because that would not be- Oh, dog attack. I don't know how I dodged those dogs, honestly. <laughs> I got so lucky there. That's all I'm saying, it's like, I could dress up as any um character I want to. Except for Princess Leia, because that's a woman. I mean, if I wanted to, I could, but it wouldn't be a. I, you wouldn't want to see me like that, especially in the slave outfit. No, not happening. Not happening. Get that. Get that dirty mind. Get that dirty dog. Get that dirty thought out of your head, please. Is the brain sucker, ladies and gentlemen? They're very easy to dodge. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's like, hey, I was a character that's the same color as me, I could just have a spin, and that'd, that'd be pretty cool. I mean, great, I could do Mace Windu as well. Orlando. It's like, there's another character I could dress up as, and you know, that, like, someone I could, like, I don't know. I'm rambling right now. I think you get what I'm saying. A character that quote unquote looks like me, even though John Boyega looks nothing like me. He just has the same skin color. <laughs> but why is this though? People, stop being racist. It's it's Star Wars. Stop being racist. There's no racism in a galaxy. Well, there's racism in Star Wars, I guess. I mean, um. Like storyline wise, there's been racism or whatnot, I believe. I think in um that's a republic terrorist there's racism. Yeah. Terrorist and that's a republic there's racism. Love that game by the way. I might do a an LP up in the future. But um as I was saying, oh city guys, something to read. Thanks to the kind, generous people of Umbrella Inc. This is a peaceful and friendly city. The vast donations of Umbrella Inc. have been used for welfare work and construction of public utilities and to help maintain, turn, turn, <laughs> public peace. In 1992, it was my fifth year as mayor of our beautiful city and it, and it was then that through many donations and hard work, our city was able to rebuild the municipal building, create a state-of-the-art hospital, and on I can't even, I went back still didn't finish it. <laughs> I was awarded with a grand statue the same year, the statue rests in the municipal building. I came to this city as an engineer more than 35 years ago. I made contributions to the electric systems and to the installation of the cable cart. 
of the fine city will devote my life to his prosperity mirror of the city Michael Warren pretty much umbrella gave us money to help do things to the city yeah, umbrella is a you know obviously no umbrella is a joke Yep, got a little bit of a problem here. And zombies, I hate them. <laughs> you guys want to run in here because I want to, um... Because, like I said, I have a little bit of a predicament right here. And I want to get some, um... Need to... Need to get my, uh... Need to... Get some stuff out of the way. So I can get my, um... What was it? My uh, lockpick back. And you'll see why. What am I doing? Oh, yeah, I am using that. <laughs> and that. This is just such a ghetto part, though. I mean, not as ghetto as other parts I've done, but this is pretty ghetto. <laughs> hey, but I guess it's a good way to show, like, what you get on easy mode, so. It wasn't a, this is not a huge fail at the end of the day, and plus it shows progression. I don't have to do everything over again. But me trying to get past those zombies was a fail, obviously. <laughs> It's like really simple, like we use a lockpick, yes I would. Alright, so we take the fire hook. And we're gonna go. We'll be here in the kitchen, we're gonna open this up, excuse me, sorry. And we get a little cutscene. Biohazard Countermeasure Force. What's your name? Jill, did you just say you belong to Umbrella's army? Yeah, we came all the way out here to save you civilians. But the mission went bad the minute we landed. How did he find me? Yeah, well, time to make a quick, time to make a quick decision, ladies and gentlemen. What should I do? Run to the basement? Or hide the kitchen. I'm gonna hide the kitchen, ladies and gentlemen. Over here. Good grief. Are you crazy? You could have barbecued both of But I like barbecue. It's delicious. Though I never had barbecue nemesis before. It may be delicious as well. But um, if you do, do that and you beat the nemesis right then and there, um, he'll give you the first aid box. The first aid box is pretty interesting because um, you, oh, when you first get it, it already comes with three first aid, first aid sprays. But when you use a first aid spray and you find one, if you use a first aid spray from the box and you find another first aid, um, find another one, you're able to... Um, It'll go automatically to that first aid box. Pretty much able to carry more healing items in less room. Another thing about this game is um, easy mode is um, like um, Jill has like matrix like dodging capabilities. It's ridiculous, especially in Nemesis fights. Because you cannot dodge like that on normal mode, on hard mode, unless you're like super skilled. For Nemesis. Trust me, it's a lot harder than that. A lot harder. It takes a lot more bullets. 
but um, yeah, Nemesis is gone. That's pretty much what you have to do, but if you play on hard mode, it's going to be a lot different. Not a lot different, it's going to be more difficult. And yeah, we're heading now, we're going to have another cutscene. Wait, I have to ask you something. I know, you want to ask me out. All the foxy ladies love my accent. It drives them crazy. What? Keep dreaming. Tell me, why did Umbrella send your team in? We're here to rescue the civilians. Don't lie to me. Umbrella is the reason why this whole mess began. Look, we're just mercenaries, hired hands. Do you really think the master would tell his dogs why they have to retrieve the stick he just threw? If you want answers, you should talk to someone else. I am not with Umbrella. Believe it or not, we're only here to rescue the civilians. If you can trust me, then help us. Think about it. All right, so he's never with Umbrella. His name is Carlos. He's never with Umbrella. Okay. Very interesting. Very interesting indeed. So we're gonna go to the safe spot, ladies and gentlemen, and um, I'm gonna save my game here as well. And when we get back, I'll be in hard mode again. Well, everything will be back to normal. Or back to hard, I should say. But anyways, I'll see you in part number four where I've thought about joining Umbrella or not. Well, thought about joining them or not. Just stay tuned, ladies and gentlemen.